Hey guys, welcome back to Tassie Coin Hunter. Just a quick $200 noodle. I'm giving the old $1 coins a bit of a go again. Sorry I still sound sick. Thank you for all the concern. Um, sorry I sound nosily, nasally, as the word I was looking for. Alright, still looking for some Great Australian Coin Hunt coins. Or something cool. Uh, get a little bit more zoom. A bit more of the old zoomage. So, yeah, like if you see these, obviously I'm finding something in there. I uh, thank you guys for your feedback on my week in review. Oh, I think I'll do it on a Sunday. Um, I don't know if that's actually that's a lamination peel I'll put that aside um, yeah I'll do it on a Sunday night I'll do it live I reckon I'll do my weekend review live see how that goes down I probably I'm not sure if I mentioned that or not but I probably did so it'll be a live week in review Sunday night. About, probably try to do it before 9. Try to be about 8.30, 8 o'clock or something like that. D for didgeridoo. And we'll see how it works, guys. And uh, welcome to new subscribers. I really appreciate it. Like and subscribe, obviously. Support the coin hunter. Oh, coin dropper. And yeah, that's how we do it. Oh, what's that? It's a really nice Jody Clark 2019, which is a low mintage coin. I don't normally keep them, but it's such high grade. I might hang on to that one. Just, you know, if I'm going to keep them, I keep the high grade ones. I like everything you keep, guys. Keep the high grade coins. I'd like to find a changeover. I haven't found a changeover for a long time. Come on. Alright. It's the highest minted version. Having a quick scan to see if there's any cuds. Just looking all around the ruse. See what's around there. Hopefully I sound better the next few days. Hopefully by Sunday I sound a lot better. It's very cold in Hobart tonight. About five degrees. Yeah. I don't know, these great Australian coin hunt coins really have slowed down. I don't know why, but I've seen heaps and then I've stopped, and I've seen heaps and I've stopped. It really is like fishing, guys. It's just on the bite, off the bite, on the bite, on the bite. And that was an A. Part of the AUNS, but we're not keeping them. Might keep the odd one if it's a really high grade. It's a high vintage coin. There's some sort of weird mark above it. 2020 donation dollar. I'd keep a few, but I wouldn't keep heaps. 
especially if you're in Tasmania, you'll be keeping all, you'll have every donation dollar, you'll have them forever. There's that many of them here. I once had a hundred dollars worth of donation dollars and I set them free. Put them into the wild. So yeah, must be, everyone must be noodling a lot because it's getting harder and harder to find coins. So yeah, all this noodling is uh, drying up the coins. <laughs> it's quite funny. W for Weepix, is it? Yeah, I'll put it aside for the moment. Sometimes I keep them, sometimes I don't keep the Great Australian Coin Hunt Part 2. Uh, part 1, sorry. Part 2 I keep every single one. Two thousand fourteen, ice minted. The great thing about coin hunting is you never know what you're going to find. You never know what's out there. It's what makes me keep going, keep searching. I'm not finding much at the moment, but if it was easy, we'd all have all the coins, wouldn't we? It'd take the challenge away. You never know, the next coin I flip might be a cement. So that's what keeps me hunting. Two thousand seventeen, probably not high enough grade for me to keep at the moment. I've got a few I kept the other day. Twenty twenty one, here we go. No, he's nuts. I don't think I've ever found an end. <coughs> I don't know. I don't know. When summer comes back, guys, it gets a bit warmer, I might do a few more, um, you know, on the road with a coin hunter, I might do a few more trips. Few more trips around. It's a pretty dirty coin. Yuck. Just checking to make sure there wasn't any lamination in the peels there. Two thousand eighteen. Put that aside. All right, looking for the rotation layer. Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't mind getting out a few more on the road with the corn hunter, showing guys a bit more of. 
Tasmania, a few beaches. Um, yeah, something pretty. I don't know, see how we go. High message. S, for A, U, and S. You find some of these rotated. But I found heaps, so I'm not keeping any more unless they're really high grade. Alright. Open up another one. Chuck the coin over there. Twenty twenty donation dollar. High vintage. I might have to get in the twenty cent pieces soon. I'm not really find it much. Jody Clark. Oh, I won't keep that one. I'll try not to keep too many of them because I just end up with so many of them. But if you haven't got many, keep a few. Ah, N for neighbours. So that's a great strange coin hunt the first one. A, A, U, and S. Jody Clark, I'm going to keep that one. Alright. Well, not heaps. One roll to go after this. Uh, yeah. I even did some 50 cent pieces the other night. I didn't did a video but I did some didn't find anything so it's been very quiet like it's like just all the coins have disappeared we've collected all the good stuff and I think I need to just start going through my sets and working out what coins I need to pick up in my sets like my 20 cent pieces Start to get a 10 cent piece collection together, 5 cent piece. Start to knuckle down and, you know, to complete some sets. Like, I just get sidetracked and go off and do other stuff. Still got a heap of silver to collect, so I might actually start knuckling down and completing a few sets. Let me know in the comments if you guys ever find yourself starting off doing say your dollar coins and get sidetracked and onto something else and on the next one never ever finish anything I have a tendency to stop never finish stuff so let me know what you guys do do you finish everything or have you like me and got half your sets unfinished so I think my job is to go through write myself some lists I think 
be a bit tough on myself. So when I go to the coin shop, I'm not just picking up random bits of silver. I'm actually finishing off my collection. 2,000. Looking for the mule, but no mule. So yeah. I really would like to... Just, you know, collect a few things and keep them up to date. Like, collect all my 50 cent pieces up to date. Yeah, so, that's pretty cool. Something the coin hunter wants to do is finish off some sets. Update a few, like, you know, I've got all these coins put aside that I think are in better order. Let's go through my set and chuck out some old ones. Put some new ones in, you know, see if I found higher grade stuff. So, yes. I really got to get into that. Okay, that does it for this hunt. Let's have a look. N for Nobby's nuts. N sounds like M the way I said it. 2018, 100 years of Anzac. Uh, Whipix W. Nice, really nice Jody Clark, 2019. Don't keep many, but keep a few nice ones. Ah, uh, for Ramsey Street, the Grave Pain Coin Hunt Series 1. D for Didgeridoo. It's not a bad order, I might keep a few more. And I believe that that is a little lamination error. Lamination peel, lamination error. You can tell it's all broken away in there. All right. So I reckon that was pretty good. I'll add that to my error collection. All right, guys. Uh, that is another quick $200, $1 coin noodle. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and give it the thumbs up. All right, guys. Catch you on the next one. Tazzy Coin Hunter, out. G'day, guys. Thank you for watching Tazzy Coin Hunter. And remember, find a penny, pick it up, and all day long. Have good luck.